cousin Richard uh, gave us this card this morning, and he said that the new uh, owners of 2512 Rodot Street found this card in the basement. And this is the house that our grandparents, Anthony and Leonora, had lived in uh, when they, um, after uh, late 1927s. And he died in 1955. There's a catch rear end. Okay, and here's the hammer. Cousin Richard has our grandfather Anthony's hammer, and Grandfather Anthony was a carpenter. And since his name started with uh, an A, he went and he carved an A at the end of the handle. So we're touching history here. So you want to touch it? You even use it. Look, I got use out of it. You got use out of it. Aunt Janine and Uncle Joe had four children. Here are three pictures of the four children, starting with uh, Richard, who's uh, 12 years old, 12, 12 or 13 years old. His brother, his older brother, Peter, who's 14 years old. And the young brother is uh, Norman. He's about 12 years old. Missing is the uh, daughter you get. This is the street on uh, the street where the uh, school is, where Eleanor's aunts and uncles and cousins went to school. This is a school they attended. This is the playground area in the back of the school. The fence that surrounds the school is the fence that was there when they all attended school. Still the same fence. This is a school that uh, was just for boys that they attended from primary to grade seven. The uh, school I filmed just previous to this was all girls. This is all boys. Okay, this, oops, sorry. Okay, this is 25, uh, 2512 Rawdot Street. It's a block and a half to two blocks away from the school buildings uh, that the children attended. And uh, grandfather Anthony and grandmother Leonora uh, purchased the property in July 1927. Uh, the surrounding area was all fields. There weren't any buildings, and since Anthony was a carpenter, he uh, built his house. They had a farm here, 
and they raised cows and chickens and uh, he lived here until 1955 when he died. The house passed to uh, one of the daughters, Elizabeth, and, <clears throat> and she lived here um, until her death. Her husband died uh, December 10th, 1987, and then the uh, house was sold a year or two later to uh, the present owners. Uh, the couple, uh, she's a librarian, and her husband is uh, a painter. And they went <clears throat> and they planted uh, the trees that you see now in the front. And there used to be a white uh, fence, <clears throat> and that's removed. Yeah, back that way alone. The house next door, the son Joseph Fascalis lived in that building. All right, we're, what uh, canal is at the end of the street? Oh, I'm not sure. I, sh I have to ask Richard. But uh, uh, cousin Richard said that uh, our grandmother used to walk across this walking bridge, which is located behind the Rawdon house, not far, and used to stand on the bridge and fish yeah, the into there. the canal. Across the street, uh, across the bridge there, right there, we, there was no fence like that. It was easy to come, we used to come, and there was no, no fence at all. Just go over the bridge and go down on that piece of cement there and fish. Oh, it was easy. Oh, that little piece of cement that's sticking out from the shore? Yeah, yeah it was oh, always like, there. That's like yeah. a cement pier. Yeah. And it's easy because all you do is go behind the house, walk over the bridge, and then go behind that, on the other side of that uh, land, it's the river, so it was easy. To go oh, so the river's on the other side of that yeah. building? Right. That's, uh, that's the hospital, that's the uh, Douglas uh, Hospital, it was always there, okay. Douglas Hospital. Or, with uh, mentally sick people. Oh, okay. mentally ill? Yes. Okay. And all we have to do is uh, go across the land and go and strike for the river. All right. And we used to go and swim and go on picnic. On picnic. Oh, okay. That's what the river at the end of that is, is the river. Okay. And this is where we have our drinking for the water for the city. Alright, so at the end of this aqueduct is the uh, river, and this is the uh, their drinking water. Yeah, the river. Okay. Alright, there wasn't any fence, and Richard remembers climbing on this to go fishing. Right. Alright, if you look across uh, the white houses, uh, cousin you get, Richard's sister, uh, lives where uh, the red cross is on the door, like a book. It's like a ribbon, uh, see it's the a red ribbon cross. Like a cross, see it? A cross? Oh yeah. Here's the red door. 
And that's where uh, Cousin You Get lives right now, across the street from the park. So we're walking on the same bridge that our grandparents and possibly our aunts and uncles walked. Yeah. Let's see, how many years ago is that? Or well, even more. Yeah. Because uh, if they were here 19, uh, late, say 30, so over uh, 60 years ago. Our, uh, our ancestors were on this bridge. Yeah. How do you like that? Do you remember this was painted black? Okay, and that was black. One last thing, behind uh, us was, was a dirt road, so we didn't have all that traffic. Okay. <laughs>